to my channel. My name is Paige. If you've never seen my face before, then please consider subscribing before you leave. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. So today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my current favorites. I've kind of stopped doing these monthly and I just do them whenever I feel lit. So that is exactly what we're doing today. You guys have been requesting it for quite a while now and I wanted to make sure that I have quite an array of things to show you and I'm hoping that I didn't forget anything. I got like all kinds of just crap land over here. Not crap. These are high quality products. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing I'm going to share is food because I need to go ahead and put this back in the fridge. I don't think this needs to be out that long. But it is the Sabra Roasted Garlic Hummus. I have never been one to like really love hummus. I don't know. I just, I guess I never really tried it so I didn't really know. But this is the bomb. Like I will cut up, I guess I call them pepper chips. <laughs> They're just red peppers and I love red peppers. That's another thing that's been my favorite here lately are just red bell peppers. I am obsessed with them. I buy like six at a time when I go to the grocery store and I like to cut them up. I put them on salads. I eat them raw and just use them as chips to scoop up this hummus. It's so good. It's so good together. This next thing, I can't remember if I have talked about these before, but I talk about them all the time on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram you definitely should because a lot of times I share a lot of really good deals that I find on there because it's just easier to go ahead and get to the people at that moment because sometimes I film a, a YouTube video and you might not see it for like a week or so and by that time the sale could be over so I like to share things immediately on Instagram so if you want to know about some deals and stuff that I find or just anything in general following along in my like very raw unedited life on Instagram you can always find my handle linked down below. I talk all the time about our fire stick. This was one of the things that I picked up during the Prime Day sale. I bought one last Black Friday because it was at a good deal. It was like 30 or $35. I can't even remember. But it used to be like 50 bucks. It was on sale for $19.99 during the Prime Day sale. So I loved it so much. I went ahead and picked up a second one. We do have multiple TVs so I could put it in here in our bedroom. Or if the first one tore up, I had to have a backup plan because I love this. This is what we watch TV on, so there's that. Also, if you're interested in anything that I talk about in this video, I will do my best to find the best prices and link everything down below. In case you're wondering, those are affiliate links that I use, which just means that I will make a little bit of commission off of it. And when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit. <laughs> it's not a whole lot, but every little bit helps. It helps me be able to make these videos and try new things and share it with y'all. So it's really helpful when you use my links that I share across social media. Sticking with tech, electronic stuff, I wanted to share this newest speaker with you. If you've been watching my videos for a while, then you know that I have this light up speaker that I love. I will try to remember to link it down below just in case you don't know what I'm talking about, but we love it. And I wanted something that I could hear in the shower <laughs> because I'm extra. So I wanted something that was going to be waterproof, but really easily portable because we do have a golf cart. We want to take it out around the community and ride around. So I wanted it to be pretty loud. I also wanted to make sure that if it were to get rained on or if it was in the shower, that it would be totally fine. So I started looking around and I found this little speaker on Amazon, pretty much where I find everything else. <laughs> And I love it. They have some different color options. So if you're not like crazy about this one, they have different ones. But I think this was like the cheaper color option. So that was fine with me. It has a little suction cup on the back. But then it also has the little carabiner clip. Which makes it super convenient. Because I found that this isn't the greatest of suction. Which I probably just need to clean my shower. <laughs> but, so you can either suction onto something. But it kind of takes... I don't know. I, I'm not too crazy about the suction. I like the fact that it has this clip and I can just hook it onto our little caddy in the shower. You can hook it to a backpack if you're like going hiking. We love this thing. I think we're like leaning more towards using this one than the other one, but that one stays like in our kitchen. This one we can just go everywhere with it, which we really love that about this. This is something else that I talked about on Instagram and it's so random and I don't think I've ever seen a favorites video mention this particular thing. Maybe I'm wrong. I've never seen one. So I talked on Instagram about trying to wind down at night and just my mind just races and it's constantly thinking of something else, something new. I'm super creative and it's hard to shut your brain off, especially at night. It's so hard. Somebody suggested that I try coloring and I was like, wow, 
I love coloring. It ties me back to some memories with my Aunt Glenda that passed away. But we would color all the time together. That was what we did. And I loved it. She had such like, she had the best crayons. <laughs> she had every color under the sun and some of the greatest coloring books. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna give it a try. And I went out and got me some coloring books and crayons. These were the crayons that I decided to go with. I had initially picked the twistables and I took them back because it was like, it's just not the traditional way of coloring. I decided I'm like, no, I'm just gonna color with the old school crayons and the pigments way better. This is like a hundred set. It's 96 plus four bonus crayons. It has a little sharpener on the back. I'm such a child, but I'm gonna tell you, it helps. It helps tremendously. I'm not thinking about anything else while I'm coloring. I'm just coloring. And I get my coloring books from the Dollar Tree because I think they're overpriced. It's kind of ridiculous how much they cost. Look at my little butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous how much they cost. I just like to get them at the Dollar Tree. I am not a fan of the adult coloring books. All those itty bitty little spaces that you have to color, that kind of stresses me out. And when I'm coloring, I don't want to be stressed out. I like these really big pictures to color that you pretty much only find in like the kids coloring books. I've had really good look at the Dollar Tree finding coloring books that are just really simple and they're pretty thick. There's a lot of pages in here and they're only a dollar. So if you're looking for something to help you wind down, I would highly recommend coloring. Because we talked about coloring, I think it's only fair that I share one of my new Amazon finds. <laughs> it's not really an Amazon find. I've heard people talk about them before, but I got a huge set of the Papermate Inkjoy gel pens. These aren't all of them. I want to say it was like a set of 20 some, 24, 26. I don't know, but I just grabbed some that were laying out on my office desk and I'm a little obsessed. I love using these in my planner. I finally got my hands on the new Happy Planner. These are 18 month calendars, so for the rest of this year and then all of next year, I'll be using my Happy Planner. I'm very excited about it. I just love it. I love all of the florals. I think this book in particular just screams page. Like, I love it. I love all of the little things it has in the beginning of every month. I love the way it's set up. The Happy Planner system is probably my most favorite that I've ever used. Um, just because you can take things out, you can put them back in, which is kind of like a three ring binder kind of feel. But I don't know, I just really love these. I love the designs of them. I will try to link this one down below. This one was a little hard for me to find. I hunted it down though, because it's the one I wanted. And as far as these pens go, they write so smooth. So smooth, the color payoff is so good. I wasn't colored with these, but it definitely helps me stay more organized within my planner because especially for like YouTube stuff, I have everything that I'm filming, pink or whatever color it is, days that I'm editing, if I have different chores to do, I have everything color coded. So it just helps me make my life kind of run a little bit more smoothly. Let's talk about clothes. Now first off, we're just gonna go ahead and address my overalls because I get tons of questions about my overalls, especially on Instagram because that's mainly where everybody's seen them. These are my new favorites. They are the pant version, they're not shorts. I do have two pairs of shorts overalls, which I love those too, but these are my favorite. I will have these linked down below. They are my absolute favorite things. I have worn these probably 20 times since I got them and I've only had them for maybe a month. So I wear them very often. They're super comfy. They're slouchy, but not slouchy in like a lazy looking way. They're really adorable. I think they're so cute. And you can just pair them with anything. You can, if you want, you can just leave one side unhooked and it's like fashionable. Yes, New York Fashion Week, here I come. Maybe not New York Fashion Week, but you know, you get the gist. But something I thought was kind of odd um, was the fact that they didn't come in sizes like six, eight, 10, 12. They came in small, medium, large. I'm typically a 12 in their jeans. So a large was a 10, 12. So I was a little iffy. I was like, uh, I don't know if this is gonna work, but they're perfect. They are absolutely perfect. I am short-waisted, so I do have like a lot of room to play with up here. They are tightened all the way back. They look like they fit really well because I'm sitting, but as soon as I stand, you can't tell because I'm short-waisted, you know. But other than that, they're absolutely perfect. It's not like ridiculous to the point where it's like a whole lot of extra fabric but they're my favorite, no doubt they're my favorite. Next, I have to talk about one of my newest t-shirt designs. If you don't know, I do have a merchandise store. It's always linked down below. So if you have been wanting a People's Foolish shirt or Hot Blessed Mess or Hustle Hard, Pray Harder, I have a lot of different shirts, um, but this one is my newest design and I love it. I've worn it so many times. I know that a lot of people back home have actually ordered these shirts, so that makes me super happy. If you have ordered them, 
and you have yet to take a picture in it and tag me in it, please do that. I would love to see y'all in your shirts, but it's, it's definitely my new favorite shirt. I think I like it more than People's Foolish. And I know that's saying a lot because I love my People's Foolish shirts. I had somebody ask me what it meant and I just think it's a great conversation starter because then I had the opportunity to teach them a little bit about my culture, let them know that we're still here. <laughs> this is my newest t-shirt. It just has indigenous across the front. Very simple, but I think it makes a huge statement. And then on the back, it just has hashtag we're still here. And it also has a fist. We're still here guys. I love this. I love this. I've worn it in videos and a lot of you really like it, but um, I just want to let you know that it is for sale and it's my new favorite. So I'm loving that y'all are loving it. Another favorite of mine would definitely have to be this necklace that I'm getting so many questions about and it's actually pretty cheap. It has a little C on it, which is for Cody. And I had somebody message me and I thought this was pretty funny. And they were like, I love the fact that you wear a C for your husband. I think that's so cute and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I can't remember exactly what they said, but I was like, I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> they only had a C. If they would have had a P, <laughs> I would have got a P. But that's all they had. If they would have had a D, I would have probably got a D for my middle name, but they didn't. All they had was a C. And I really wanted a new, um, like a different color necklace. I do have a cross necklace that everybody loves and it's silver but I do wear a lot of gold and rose gold so I wanted something that was just gonna go better with all of those things so I seen that one and I loved it it's really dainty I wish it was up a little bit higher I am in the market for like a 16 inch maybe 14 inch I want something that's more of like a choker style but not a choker like a little bit longer than a choker and then the last clothing thing I think I think this is the last clothing thing are these PJs from Target y'all I'm obsessed with them I need to really start getting pajamas in separates rather than buying the sets because I am sized two different ways. I'm normally like a small medium on top and like large, sometimes extra large on the bottom. And I've been getting the large PJs and this top, the tops are always so big, but I'm sleeping in it. So it really doesn't matter. You know what I mean? The Gilligan and O'Malley brand of the PJs are my absolute favorite. They're so comfy and just like luxurious feeling. I love them. They're my favorite that I've ever worn. These are super cute though. I love the fact these have like, you can't wear these around like people. Like don't buy these and think you're gonna wear it to like a family vacation with your grandparents and <laughs> no. Because it has like these little slits on each side. So you're kind of like hanging out a little bit, which is, which is totally fine if you know it's just you and your husband and that's okay cody loves these so there's those and then it comes with just like a corresponding color in a tank top i guess technically i could mention this with the clothing it's a hat cody made such fun of me when he seen this coming in from amazon but really guys i'm obsessed Dun, dun, dun. For those of you that know my big head struggles, I have mentioned it on many occasions. I found one big sun hat that I was able to wear and it was from Old Navy. And even then, after wearing it for a little bit, it didn't seem like it was stretching much. And I need like a little bit more stretch just for it to feel like extra comfortable on my head. So then I was like, you know what? I'm finally gonna go look at these Velcro hats. Everybody kept telling me to go look at the Velcro hats. And I'm like, no, those are for old ladies. <laughs> I'm not an old lady yet. Let me live my young life as long as I can. I still went and looked anyway. I ordered the black one because my other one is like that light tan color. So I was like, okay. I figured if I didn't like it and it looked extremely mature, <laughs> then I would just return it and try to find something that fit. But I think it's cute. And I love the little bow like accent that goes across the back where you Velcro it. And it actually fits my head. That's my biggest problem. And I wanted something that had a really big like brim on it to really help shade my face from the sun. Um, so I really love these. They come in a bunch, a bunch of different colors. But I will link the black one down below. Now we're getting into the fun beauty stuff. So the first thing, I got this in my Fat Fit Fun box. And I love it. Like I love it. I have used it nonstop. If you didn't know, we do travel a lot. So anything that's gonna help make my life more easy and a whole lot more convenient, I'm all about it. This is like the little makeup travel train case thing. I love it. It has the two separate zippers at the top. It has where you can put your brushes right here and then it has this little zippered place here to put like smaller items in. Print super cute. And if you get makeup on it, 
You can't really tell and it's easy to clean off. Then at the bottom, it just has a bigger section for you to put bigger stuff. And you actually can like fit a whole lot in here. I can fit my whole entire like face. My whole face. Everything I'm using on my face, I can fit into this little case and it's not like jam packed. I even get my skincare in here. So I get my makeup and skincare in here. And I'm what you're thinking, I don't have a stitch of makeup on today. So I'm probably not a good candidate of telling you how much I take. But I take like the basics to make like a full face just in case I want to look beat one night if we're going out to dinner. I have everything that I need and I can fit it all in here. So speaking of makeup, I did want to share two of my favorite things. I shared these on Instagram as soon as I bought them because I'm obsessed and I've been obsessed ever since. I was on the hunt for a concealer to put under my eyes just for when I wanted to brighten things up but I didn't want to put my foundation on or my CC cream. That's pretty much all I wear is the cosmetic CC cream. But when I didn't want to wear that and I just wanted to put something under my eyes to brighten things up, I wanted a good concealer that was going to help hydrate my eyes but also brighten them up. So I didn't want something that was gonna be too dry, like Shape Tape, I don't own Shape Tape, um, but I've heard that it can be drying, and my under eyes are already dry, I don't need anything that's gonna make them dry. So I tried out this Pure Concealer, and I lo lo love it. I love the compact packaging of it, I love the fact that it's the little twist up so it clicks and it has the little sponge applicator and I just brush it on and I take my hands and like rub it in if I'm like real like behind or lazy or I'll most likely use a damp beauty blender or my real technique sponge whatever you call it and I will just pat it in and blend it out and I think it's perfect. The color is light tan. And then the next item is my new mascara and I am obsessed. I always lean towards the drugstore brands because if it's going to do the same thing, why pay more money? But I had a little sample size of this Tartiste Tarte Lash Paint, whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. Um, I'll link it down below. Um, but I had a little sample of it and I tried it. And hands down, it was the best mascara I ever used. And I've tried the Better Than Six, and I've also tried the Dupe for Better Than Six. I thought it dried out incredibly fast, and it didn't do exactly what I wanted it to do. And I've also tried the Maybelline Total Temptation, which I still love. If I were to run out of this and couldn't afford to get another tube of this, I would go back to that Maybelline. But because I know how good this is, and I can afford to buy this, I'm going to. I got one skincare thing, and it is the Olay Night Cream. The age defying one, I have never ever used Olay anything. I feel like it's just one of those brands that everybody loves. Like it's tried and true, old school. I wanted something that was gonna be hydrating and really penetrate my skin at night. Something that was gonna be a little thicker than what I was previously using because I just felt like it wasn't moisturizing enough. So I've been giving this a try and I love it. I don't know, I don't know what it is, but it just feels so good on my skin. And I'm obsessed. I don't even remember where I got it, but I love it. I lied. <laughs> I have two skincare things. I mentioned earlier that anything that's travel friendly, I'm obsessed with. And this St. Ives Cleansing Stick is awesome. I haven't traveled with it yet, but I'm going to tell you, I already know it's going to be super easy to travel with because it's just this. This is what you wash your face with. So you just unscrew the top and it kind of is like a little roll on deodorant kind of style. Um, but you just wet your face and you rub it on. It smells so good. It smells like summer. It's cactus, water, and hibiscus. It's like spring, summer, something. I don't know. It smells super good and it does a really good job of cleaning my face. And it doesn't dry my skin out. It's not oily. It just feels really good. I mean, everybody's different. Not everybody is a big fan of St. Ives. Um, a lot of people just like high-end drugstore. They refuse to try anything else. But I seen this and I'm always looking for something that's gonna be easy for me to travel with. So I tried this out and I actually really, really like it. Y'all, I missed a makeup. <laughs> Mr. Makeup item. See, I knew I was going to be all over the place. This also came in my FabFitFun box and I love it. This is the Tartiste Bronzer Pro Glow, whatever. It's the Pro Glow. Um, but it has bronzers and highlights in it. So good. These colors are so, so good. The formulas are buttery. The highlights are super pigmented and glowy they are so good my favorite is the stunner and i use both of the bronzers one of them is cream and the other one is powder so i will set the cream with the powder and they're perfect for my skin tone 
But yeah, Stunner is definitely my favorite. I also love to use these as eyeshadows too. So if I'm traveling and I want something like super quick and easy and I'm just gonna do like a neutral eye, I will just bring this. Use this as bronzer and as an eyeshadow because you have some lighter colors in here. And I also have the brown to darken up my crease just to give me some definition. So this is something that's really easy and for you to bring. And it has mirrors in it too, so you can easily use the mirror in it to apply your makeup. All of the last bit of things are hair related. I got quite a bit of hair stuff that I wanna talk about. Most of it is Paul Mitchell. If you didn't know, I am a Paul Mitchell alumni. I graduated from Paul Mitchell the school. And before I went to Paul Mitchell, I was anti-product. I was so against product. I would shampoo and condition my hair and blow dry. <laughs> like, I didn't put any kind of serums or leave-ins or anything in my hair. I was totally anti-product because I had struggled with products weighing my hair down and leaving it feeling really not clean. Like, it just didn't feel good. So, I was just totally against product. And when I went to hair school, it changed my view on products. I am a product junkie now. I love me some product. It's all about finding the right things and the right balance of things for your hair type. I really love Polynesia because they have such a wide variety of things to choose from and they're not ridiculously expensive, especially for a high-end brand. I think they're amazing. They have so much for so many different hair types, which I think is so important because not everybody's hair is the same. I am obsessed with their tea tree shampoo. I don't have the conditioner but I have the shampoo because it's my favorite thing. And I don't shampoo my hair with this every single time. Um, I kind of like rotate it out. I do this every other time that I shampoo my hair. It just really opens up my scalp, especially if I'm suffering from allergy problems, OMG. This right here is a game changer, a lifesaver. It like immediately opens me up and it makes me feel better. But not only that, my hair feels so good when I'm done shampooing it. So this is definitely probably one of my favorite shampoos from them. Next up is from the Aupui Wild Ginger line. This is easily one of my favorite lines that Paul Mitchell has ever come out with. They do have some new stuff that I'm not familiar with at all. It's been a while since I've played around with some Paul Mitchell stuff, but this is tried and true. This is my old school favorite. Like I am obsessed with it. All the stuff from this entire line is the bomb. If you need some like repairing treatments, some keratin infused, some goodness. If you need to go in and reconstruct your hair, if your hair is like super damaged and dry, this is the line that you need. I'm telling you, it's gonna change the game. This is the keratin intensive treatment. It's for repairing. It's so good, y'all, so good. Next is something that I feel absolutely hit over heels for as far as like one of my styling products. So I will put this on before I apply any kind of styling tools to it at all. Blow dryer, flat iron, curling iron, whatever it is I'm using, I will do this and I'll show you the other thing. But I make like a little cocktail between this and then the next product. But this is Paul Mitchell's Fast Form, which is a cream gel and it's just going to help you dry your hair a whole lot faster. It definitely speeds up the drying process, but not only that, I think it also helps withhold your style. It's really gonna prolong your style, which I think is super important, especially if you go like me and you go forever without washing your hair. But I do a pump of this or two, just depends on what I'm feeling. And I also will add in the Super Skinny Relaxing Balm. A lot of people prefer the Super Skinny I think it's just super skinny, but I love the relaxing balm. This one isn't as heavy. They have three different ones, and I think that this one is perfect for my hair type. I have a lot of really fine textured hair, and if I use the wrong thing, it would definitely weigh it down. So I can't use things that are too heavy, and the one that's above this one is a little bit too heavy for me. I love the super skinny line, but this is probably my favorite thing from them. So this just definitely helps with smoothing. It's really good for wavy, curly, kinky hair, no matter what you got, if it's just like a little bit over the place. But it's very lightweight and it just helps tame like any frizz. It also helps speed up the drying process. So when you put these two together, it's a match made in heaven. The last Paul Mitchell thing I'm gonna show you and then I have one more hair related thing and then I'm done. So if you watched our cruise vlogs, then you know I was distraught, slam distraught because my flat iron that I had been loving and using for the last six years died on me. It just died. And I was without a flat iron the whole trip. So I knew as soon as I got back, I was going to be ordering a new one and it was going to be the same exact one that I already had. Well, since it had been six years, it had some a couple changes. But I would like you to know that after the one that I thought died on me come back to life when we came back home. It totally revived itself. 
I don't know if it was trying to play games with me and seeing how loyal I was, <laughs> but I did get a backup and I must say I like this design way better than the old one. Which is saying a lot because I love my Paul Mitchell smoothing iron. This is the newer one. It's just the Express Ion Smooth. I like this one because I feel like they paid more close attention to the sides of the smoothing iron. It's more beveled, so it's just an easier transition into curling. I have to have a flat iron that is multi-use, multi-purpose. It's gotta be able to straighten and curl my hair. I do not wanna have to use separate tools to get different looks. This is hands down the best the best smoothing iron I've ever used. Because it has the really nice smooth beveled edges on it, it's perfect. The plates on this, I'm telling you, I have compared this to other flat irons, the Chi in general. At the beginning of the year, we went out of town and then we came back to our home for a short period of time to pick up some things to head back out. Well, I decided to do my hair while I was here and I had left my Paul Mitchell in the hotel room. So I said, well, I'll just use the backup that I had here, which was a Chi. And I did my whole head. I washed it, blood dried it, smoothed it out. By the time I got back to our hotel room, I needed to re-flat iron it because it was already freezing. And it literally felt like I had not even touched it with a flat iron. One pass with this. I'm telling you, that's all you need. You just take a good size piece. You really gotta quit taking these huge chunks of hair and thinking it's gonna smooth out because it's not. Take about an inch depth of hair and you do a slow pass and you're done. It is so smooth, I'm telling you, I'm not exaggerating, it's so silky smooth, I don't care what kind of hair you have, you will be obsessed with this. It is worth the money, if you see it on sale, catch it when it's on sale, if not, if you gotta pay full retail, I would pay full retail all day long on this because it is that good. I did just have two companies send over their flat irons, I'm going to compare them to that one. We will see what I think. I don't know yet. We will see what I think. I will definitely let you guys know in a future vlog what I think about them. Pretty excited to see if we have some that are pretty good comparison. Okay, y'all, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to the channel. Make sure to leave me a comment down below. What is your new favorite thing? I always love seeing what you guys are enjoying because then I get to go try it out just in case I hadn't already. I hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day, y'all. Bye. In the box, trying to be like the rest, but I'm not. I just want to.